Everything is like 70% off. I'm like, all right, give me the biggest set of speakers that you have in the biggest box with the biggest amp and the best deck that you could put in the car. And I did, and it was free. And what happened was, um, so my wheels fell off when I was driving down the road because I, I had a, an old Nissan Sentra and I thought, it, I was very young, so I thought like rims were interchangeable no matter like what car you had, like as long as the size was close enough, like you fit it on, it's good. So I fit it on and I, I lug wrench those bad boys on there pretty good. The base in this car was incredible. I, I mean, I, I've had some good bass in a car where it's like, you know, the mirror vibrates. You're like, oh, this is still pretty cool here. I mean, it was vibrating to the point where the windows were going to, like, shatter. Like, that that was incredible. The problem was, everything was vibrating, including the lug nuts. So I got, like, a mile and a half down the road, and I'm like, whoa, this car's feeling kind of weird. I pulled off to the side of the road, and then, <clears throat> like, a second after I came to a stop, one of the wheels fell off, front end. I love it. <laughs> I was like, whoa. All right, lesson learned. 16-year-old Ted. You know, it's, uh, apparently, uh, wheels are not as interchangeable as one might think. So I learned a lesson uh, the hard way. Well, not as hard as it could have been. Could have been on, like, the highway. So... Not that bad. But anyway, that was my Circuit City example. Uh, yeah, Best Buy, I think, uh, yeah, it still exists, but I don't, I don't know why it does. Man, I was like, all right, so I could go to Best Buy and get an extension cord, or I could wait a day and a half and get it on my doorstep with Amazon Prime. So. Also, the people at Best Buy don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, what are they, what are they called? The Geek Squad? <laughs> Yeah, they, they used to, like, back in the day when they first came out, it's like people who actually had some knowledge and experience. Now they're like, all right, just fill out this ticket. When do I get it back? I don't know. I'm like, all right, cool. Um, let me just grab my laptop back from you instead of you taking it and doing what you were planning on doing to it. I'm just going to take it myself. Because, yeah, no, they, they do not. And they don't have good, good stuff there. Like, when I need something particular, like, I just Google what I want and then order it. it because odds are they're not going to have it anyway. Especially though, when you order it from Amazon, they also, Amazon now is shipping all the way from China. Yeah, you get it from anywhere. I was like, I was waiting for a case, uh, case for kids for your iPad. And it was really and they wanted to be free. Yeah, because it's on a boat. And they said, oh, this has been delivered from China. I said, do you know order from China? Yeah, well, I, I just got a notification that the ponzu sauce I ordered, apparently, which was coming from Japan. Uh, I, I love ponzu sauce, and it's great. I, I had a guy who talked to it, I had it for the first time, in a while, and White Plains Main Street, right across from Galleria. If you've never gone there before, just uh, go there, it'll change your life. Um, so just go during a happy hour, because that's what, everything is like half off, like all the food's everything. Anyway, the pond, they give you three dipping sauces. One is just a regular soy, one is a, like a, a spicy one, and then the other is the pond for dipping sauce. That's the one. So I ordered it on Amazon for like 15 bucks, and I got the notification saying, uh, we refunded your account. It, got, it, it didn't make it through customs. I'm like, oh, come on, that's the good stuff. Like, if it didn't make it through customs, that's the one I wanted. You know, like, you know, like that's... Why, why did it make it I have no idea. Yeah, probably because it was in a box of illegal drugs or something. I, I have no idea. So, but that, that's what it said. It said it. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Now, it's, uh, actually, I mean, some might consider the ponzu sauce itself a drug. But like, once you try it, oh, is, you'll dip everything in it. It's, it's kind of like a soy sauce. But it's got a citrusy flavor. I mean, it's it's savory. It's sweet. Like it's a lot of it. I mean, it, I I haven't gone to H Mart in a while, so they might have it. I'm sure they have it. But what I wanted was Amazon to have it. And, and then one day, so.
they're not really in control of what you want. You gotta control it. Yeah, this is not what I want. Yeah. Press over, not out of the pocket. Press over, not out of the pocket. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking. I'll try, I'll try it again, but then if not, I'll try H Mark. If not, I'm just gonna go with a big satchel into Guy Kaku and just start walking around. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick and just grab one off. <laughs> I, I've had all the different sauces, and some of them. <laughs> no, I haven't had that. No. Talking about Rick and Morty, right? Well, it does exist. It, it, I am referring to Rick and Morty, so it does exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's good? Yeah, some people pass it. Yeah, I tried yesterday. I'm like, oh, I never got to try it. I mean, I want to try it too, but like, it's almost $100. Yeah, not expensive. Yeah, I mean, anything that's like. If it's only expensive because there's an import tax associated with it, then I, I don't want it. Like, I'm sure somebody could make it local, but ponzu sauce is not like it's not something that was invented by some random individual, and you can only get it from that person. But like, it, it's 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 a condiment, so you, you should be able to get it pretty much anywhere. Um, I recommend it. But yeah, Gaiukaku, just just try it. I recommend it highly. All right, so I'm just listing the particulars here. Just pulling the data from the problem, or the summary statistics, I should say. So they give us some metrics related to Great Buy and some related to Circuit Town. So a number of items sampled, 50 for Great Buy. The average price for cost was ninety-seven fifty with a standard deviation of seven to nineteen. Thirty-two items of circuit down or sampled, a mean was seventy six fifty nine, and the standard deviation twelve sixty three. So we want to test the claim that there's no significant difference between the average cost. Alright? So it's kind of like the two population proportion test in that we have two groups, so let's subscript them with ones and twos to distinguish them from one another. All right, there will be a population mean associated with Great Buy and a population mean associated with Circuit Town. And I'm just testing for equality because no significant difference means that they're equal to one another, which makes that a null hypothesis. The alternative to that, well, it didn't give me an indication. The alternative would be that there's some difference. I don't know which direction though. I don't know if it's going to be where Great Buy is more than Circuit Town. I mean, it seems that way based on the, the sample means, but I don't have any indication from the problem that that's what I'd be looking for. So I would say simply not equal. All right. So what do I do? Well, it's a two sample t test. It has the same structure as a regular t test, except there's two samples. So I don't know that you would necessarily, when you get enough experience with this sort of thing, you don't necessarily need to know the title of something in order to identify it properly. Because you look at it and say, well, it's got a mean and standard deviation. That means t-test, but there's two of them. So let me find one that talks about two and a t-test. So that would be option four, two sample t-test. Are you going to tell us some problems in which kind we got to do? Negatory. Negatory. Wow. You should pick a flow chart, man, like one that, like you said, you know, is given this information and then this type test. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, so the funny thing is, for me anyway, it would be a complete waste of time because um, I don't care. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, uh, if, you, if you Google it, it's like the first 30 options would be the like exactly what you're looking for. Like, it's been done. It's been done by many, many people. So it would be a waste of time for me because I'd be just reinventing somebody else's wheel. Okay, so 
Just look, flow chart, hypothesis test, you'll see it. It's, it's all there. Uh, we did not work with raw data here. We work with stats. And it's tailor-made. You look at what we have and what it's asking for. All right, so just type in your information. It's a not equal because our alternative is not equal. And that's really the only reason why I wrote the alternative hypothesis. The question didn't ask for it. It didn't state it. It didn't ask for it. I really don't need it except to put it in the copy. All right, so For under pooled, so I'm just going to scroll down to this part and only highlight this and put it in because everything else I think is pretty self-explanatory. Bless. Pooled is always going to be no. All right. Um, just a, a, a quick uh, explanation on that. Uh, you could only pool your information, which means really combine them into a single set if you know that they come from populations that have the same or similar standard deviations, which is very rare to the point where, like, I don't even know off the top of my head how we could guarantee that in this context, except to say, I, it, you would have to know like the suppliers for Great Buy and Circuit Town to know that they're both getting their products from the same source, and so therefore their market prices would be roughly the same. So then you could assume that they have a standard deviation for their population that's roughly the same. But that information not be there. Basically. The, the question would have to be so specific in order to steer you to that that it, it would it wouldn't be it wouldn't be believable. You know, so you, you'd have to kind of fabricate. Anyway, so for our purposes, all you have to know is that the answer is going to be no. We get a p value that is extremely tiny, e to the negative eight, so ten uh, times ten to the negative eight power. Scientific notation. So therefore, you know, the p-value is going to be less than the alpha value. Whenever I see this, I don't even have to look at the alpha value. I know I'm looking at something that's going to reject. All right, so reject the null hypothesis. So the null is gone. The alternative is true. But they were only asking about the null. So there is... Sufficient evidence to reject the claim that there is no difference in we're we talking about mean price, right? Uh, mean cost population population has to be in there between grade by and circuit town at the point something or other 0.05 significance level. Second sentence is irrelevant. You put it in, but then you're on the hook for it. 